Hey, what's going on everybody? I'm sure it's been a week now since this has been released. I'm sure you guys know what this is. So I'm not even going to introduce you to it. Uh, it's right here. I'm not even going to say its name. Oh, okay. But uh, so you already know what it is. This video isn't an unboxing video per se. It's actually really a uh, little demo to show you what's inside. And we're going to show you the entire setup process for it because we've had people ask us uh, for help setting it up. And you know, you, you, you can't harp on them because a lot of people are actually purging these for their children, but they're helping their children set them up. So we figured we'd do a little demo and uh, a little setup video for everyone that needs, that wants to know how it's done. Because unlike previous generation consoles, both the PS5 and the Xbox Series X requires you to be online to do the initial setup. And not only that, this also has extra steps. You have to update the DualSense controller. So there are extra things involved during the setup process for this. And you know, we're gonna show you guys that. But for now, we'll show you guys the machine. on an entirely white box but as you guys already know uh, I prefer the Series X box and packaging over the PlayStation the PlayStation one's rather simple uh, probably because they're like you know the unit will speak for itself it doesn't need fancy boxing as your literature Right on top is the power cable. The dual sense controller is also right on top. This is the type C cable to charge the dual sense. This is the plate, AKA the dock that you rest the PlayStation 5 on. And this is the HDMI cable that it comes with. Uh, that's also another question we've had uh, people ask about. In order to get the optimal performance out of the new generation, you have to have two things. You have to have a television that can support uh, the new technology that these things bring. You have to have a television that supports HDMI 2.1. You have to have cables that support HDMI 2.1. You have to have um, you have to have a uh, 4K television. Well, 4K you don't have to have, but in order to take advantage of the uh, fidelity of these new consoles, it's best to have. But you also need a television capable of higher refresh rates. Uh, it locks a lot of the games current out currently locks the uh, FPS at 60 when you run on fidelity mode. Uh, but when you play the lower resolution mode, it some games go up to 120 FPS. If your television's refresh rate isn't fast enough to take advantage of the increased frame. There is no advantage, basically. You actually will not be able to see or notice the difference. So that's another thing you have to consider. We don't sell TVs, so, uh, or nor do we actually talk about them, so we're not gonna get into that real quick. But you, know, you can easily find information on televisions that are recommended for the new gen systems. We'll put the links to those in the description also. Sorry, I'm being very ginger with taking uh, the unit out because if 
you notice with uh, other unboxings and stuff, I'm very careful with things because A, I don't like breaking the packaging. And B, come on, this is a PS5. Show you the unit. Many of you have already seen it probably, uh, especially well, if you're here you've seen what this unit looks like by now. Also if you saw our PS5 giveaway video, which I'll also put a link in the description to, or, or you can actually see it right here if you're on desktop or using a YouTube mobile app. So this little exclamation point, circle around. You can actually select that and go see the uh, giveaway. So this is the PS5 disc space system. Disc is right here. This slot is right here. The digital system is basically identical spec-wise to this, except it does not have the CD bay. So this picture this half, also on this side. On this side. That's exactly what the digital console looks like. Pretty big console, I mean look. It's basically my chest. Base of the unit. <coughs> For the base of the unit, uh, we're not going into the specific tiny details um, because when you look really close at the unit on the inside, there's all these PlayStation controller symbols. By that I mean X, O, square, and triangle. The buttons you see on the PlayStation, they're all over the inside. Of the unit. And also on the inside of the back, on the right side over here. That's the base. We will be probably laying this one flat on our, because we are going to be using this unit. And we're going to lay it flat, so I'm going to show you the installation process for that, for flat. It's actually very simple. Oh, also, you, obviously you can lay it standing straight up too, but if you lay it standing straight up, you have to get this screw. See that in there? And take it out. And actually screw the base like so onto the unit so when it stands, it won't just suddenly, you know, flop over. But as you can see, it's pretty sturdy unless you like decide to knock it over. But since we'll be laying it down flat, I will show you that. Ah, and that's another thing I want to discuss about the usability design of the PlayStation 5 as far as the disc slot goes. I understand a lot of people will be putting this in tight spaces. I recommend you do not, only because of airflow issues for these new systems. If you're familiar with the uh, PS4, PS4 Pro, 
the slim, uh, you notice that they get hot all the time, especially during prolonged periods of use. So I do not recommend keeping this in a tight space, but I do know a lot of people will. Now, see this? It's actually a rather simple installation. Literally, it has slotted hooks. Literally, you just hook it in and basically put it into position, just like that. Very plain and simple. And you can actually judge where you stop because it's sloped. It's contoured along with the PlayStation. The underbelly is contoured. And you can see that? And so is this. So basically, you just hook it in. And then you can slide it down until it fits, slide just like that. All right, and then you just lay it down flat, like so. And this is how it's presented. Like that. Seems awkward, right? But that's exactly how it's done. And the, this slot is right here, which actually, from a usability standpoint, if you're looking straight at it like you are now, it might not seem so bad. But if you have a slot in your entertainment center underneath your TV, you pretty much have to get eye level to put the disc in because when you look at it from a top-down angle or even a straight top-down view, you actually can't see the slot. It's literally about a half an inch in from this bevel. So I don't know if they uh, never considered that when they made this because it's really obvious that they actually want people to stand this straight up. But a lot of people are going to have it flat as will we because we won't store it underneath anything. We want airflow so we'll be putting it on top of our desk uh, when we use it. So this is your HDMI cable. This is your standard type C charging cable for the DualSense controller. This is your standard power cable. This is the DualSense. That right there. Uh, on the front, it's basically a matte white. On the back though, I'll zoom this in for you guys. Again, it follows that pattern of tiny little X's and O's going throughout the uh, controller's back. The X's, the O's, the triangles, the squares, you know, the buttons that they have on the front over here. And they added a blue LED light. I don't know if you can see that. Right there. It's actually pretty cool. If you've played with this, we have. It really is truly next gen. Uh, the haptic feedback on just about every uh, first release for this new generation for the PS5 utilizes it. And it's quite an experience. If you haven't experienced it yet, wait until you get your hands on it. It's very, it truly is revolutionary. So that's the controller, all right? And what we'll do is we're going to set it up and we're going to show you uh, the entire setup process. Okay, I wanted to show you guys what this looks like when it's powered up. I love that blue hue that's on the top of the unit. On the right hand side there, you see it's glowing. It's more pronounced than it was on the PlayStation 4 consoles. Much more so than the PlayStation 4 Pro. Sometimes you don't even notice it on the PlayStation 4 Pro. Simply because of where the LED is situated. Now we're going to set this up. Just so you can see how it works. So as soon as you plug it in. And right after it instructs you to put in the controller and plug it into the USB port, this is what the first screen looks like. Uh, you set your language. For us is English, United States. 
uh, next we set it up uh, we will not be using the Wi-Fi we will actually plug in a Ethernet cable into the system itself There you go. Once the Ethernet cable is plugged in, gets to the next and adjust display area. Basically, you can make it smaller, larger. Basically, it's to fit your screen. There we go. It's at max. Hit OK. And it says to insert a game disk. If you have it, Insert it now and we'll install it while we continue with setup. Uh, we're not going to install it now. I want to get you through this setup. Continue without disk. Now, power consume. We want optimized experience. Always applies the latest updates. Turns on remotely when you connect using PlayStation app or remote play. Charges controllers after entering rest mode consumes more power. That's okay. We need our controllers charged. Your standard agreements. Confirm. Update the system software. We're going to do that now. And we'll just speed up the process over the long further. We'll be updated. PS5 re restart and start the update. All data for guests will be deleted. It's fine. We literally just plug this in. And you can access the website on a smartphone by scanning the QR code that's displayed on the lower right corner of the screen here. You can create an account for PlayStation Network. Get PlayStation app for easier sign-in. The update is relatively small. Uh, it's not even a gig in size. So the download's pretty quick. Now the, re now the PS5 is going to restart. See, now it's installing. It's, in sub it's in updating the system software. Normally you have audio like a little bit of background audio while this is all going on. However, uh, we disabled that so we can concentrate on just showing you the setup. And there's the classic PlayStation logo. Press the PlayStation button on the controller. Astro's Playroom is added to downloads because Astro Playroom actually comes pre-installed with both the digital and physical disc consoles. Well, at least it comes, it says it comes pre-installed. It doesn't. It actually needs to be uh, installed. Let's continue. So a new version of the wireless controller device is available. We're going to update that. It's basically an update for the DualSense controller that comes with the unit. Okay. Uh, it says to create an account. We already have one, so we're going to bypass this step. Or if you already have one, which you probably do, because most PlayStation players either have a PlayStation Plus or a PlayStation Network account. So we'll do this setup later. All right. Choose an avatar for ourselves. This is cool. Let's see what your options are here. That's really cool. Uh, they even have uh, avatars from Genshin Impact in here. Oh, right. uh, what's... Oh, they literally have hundreds of avatars. So we're not going to go through them all. We are going to simply choose one of my favorite games. 
Last of Us 2. And I know this is controversial, but I'm a big fan of Abby. Name. Of course, we are JNL Game. It's interesting. Where are the special symbols? There are no special symbols. So we're going to have to go with J, L. Game. It says you need to use letters, numbers, hyphens, or underscores. But I don't need to use an un Oh, I understand now. That is so silly. So we're just going to straight up do J L game this way. Okay. Limited data only. Welcome to PlayStation 5. All right, and that's the first game. It was downloading that in the background, as you saw from the pop-up earlier. And that is how you set up PS5. And there you have it. That was the Sony PS5 with uh, the setup process, the process of updating DualSense controller. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you do, please give it a like. Please subscribe to our channel for more video game shenanigans. Remember one at JNL. Have a good one.